Good morning everybody, this is Amna from Javeri Jewelers and welcome to one of our series. Today we wanted to discuss the three most popular ring styles, the engagement ring styles. The first one is the diamond solitaire, then the diamond engagement, uh, the diamond uh, halo and the diamond three stone ring. So I wanted to give a little time to each particular style and talk to you about the pros and cons of each one. first engagement ring style which is your diamond solitaire. Your diamond solitaire is a single stone. It can either have an accepted band or it can have just a plain band uh, 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 around the shank. This is a classic timeless style. It's a wonderful style to show off a big center stone. Solitaire. The diamond solitaire is a single stone, either in a six prong or a four prong, with either an accented band or a plain band. This is a great ring to show off your center stone. It, it adds a lot of light into your center stone. One of the issues that is not so great about it is it sits high and is susceptible to damage. With the diamond solitaire, you can actually play with the band. So you can even do something like this, which and I'll close, uh, give you a close up later, which is kind of like a like a, a cross ring with the stone in the center. And it's a very popular design right now. So the diamond solitaire, once you put bands on the side of it, you have a little protection, but that is a little bit uh, scary to have a stone that sits so high. With the diamond solitaire, you can also play with your bands. This is a really interesting ring because it's like a cross ring with the diamond in the center. Now remember with the diamond solitaire, the larger your center stone, the higher it has to sit because it has to clear the culet. So the bottom of your stone doesn't poke you or doesn't, or actually fits within your, your, your setting. And those are not so great qualities of the diamond solitaire. Now we come to the diamond halo. The diamond halo is a really fun ring. So it means you have one center stone surrounded by a halo of diamonds. Depending on the shape of your center stone, you can change that halo shape. So you can have a princess cut with a square halo, a round with a round halo, or you know an emerald cut with an emerald halo. So those little stones add massive light into the diamond. A diamond is all about the light return to your eye. The other thing about the, the halo ring is it's very hard to have a band fit. So you kind of need to make your wedding band customized or have a curved band that would, that would fit. But there are great creativity in the diamond halo. You can add uh, sapphires, rubies as halos. Now we come to the three stone ring. The three stone ring is very classic. It's been around uh, since the late 60s and it's the past, present and future ring. A center stone with two side stones on, uh, on the side. It has the advantage of the, the solitaire but you protect it by having two stones on the side as well. And again like the halo ring you have versatility in this you can actually add other stones on the side. So you can put two sapphires on the side. And during the Art Deco time, that was very, very uh, popular, where they put two, two sapphires on the side of a center stone. Or you can put your birthstone, your husband's birthstone, so on and so forth on the side. It's also an easy ring to add a wedding band to. So those are uh, the three most popular ring styles. Remember, you can be as creative as you want with your engagement ring, and I, and I honestly urge you to be as creative as you can. It's a special moment in your life. Do what, what looks better on you and what you love. That's the best way to do it. So come on in to Javeri Jewelers, and let me show you our huge collection of bridal rings and engagement rings. We'd love to be part of your story.